I don't know what happened with Mumble. Apparently it didn't work out. Rip it, but that's fine. Um, all right, we got, yeah. Ten seconds. Remaining. Well, and a bone seven bat rider. Don't forget that. But I guess, yeah. Five seconds. Remaining. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, they picked this up, and this is going to be a support and Zeus more than likely, because right, they already have the buck. They have the bat rider. Zeus and Vengeful Spirit going to be your roaming supports, and what they like to do a lot for Cloud Nine is make sure that the the Zeus and and other really you know. The level dependent supports will get levels in lane and they'll have someone go to the jungle. Whatever Eternal MV Hero is, we'll find out. So, we do need the EE -E Hero. They ban out the Phantom Assassin, interestingly enough, from Cloud9. They don't realize that, hey, maybe the Legion Commander on IO might already be good enough to get her. So, Secret have three seconds left for reserve time. They have the Mag, Ancient Apparition, IO, Legion Commander. They think that this Legion might be off lane. It could be safe lane like they played it yesterday. What does Simba go here? What does Kuroki go here? That's the real question. We'll see. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. That's all I can say about that. Yeah, I guess so. Huskar's gonna roast some people. This is gonna be, uh, he's, this is an interesting choice. You got a 12 second life break, why not jump and jam on people? Also, you're pretty much unkillable when it comes to your magic resistance at low life. Five seconds remaining. Like, Zeus will not do any damage to him, Puck will not do any damage to him if he's like below 20% HP. Break out the physical damage, boys. We gotta get something for Eternal Envy here that just right clicks like crazy. And I don't know, like, it could be tough because any real hard farmer is gonna get ganked. Like, this is the, this is the earliest lineup I've seen from Secret in a while. Usually, Kuroki will pick somebody, somebody that works well in the late game, but this is, this is not that hero. <laughs> this is a hero that likes to jump on your face and kill you immediately. I'm down. seconds remaining. Wow, they literally banned five four of his five heroes. <laughs> four of the five bands were dedicated to Envy. Uh, alright. Yeah. <laughs> it's doable now for Cloud9. I really got a skirt pick, actually. It could either go amazingly, or it could just be the worst thing ever. I highly doubt it'll be the worst thing ever. I feel like it's going to be at least somewhat effective, but... This could... They could duel in this mid still, and then Puck would just have a terrible time. Like, the Brandy Spirits would be impossible. You could send the Legion, like, solo off lane, Magnus solo safe lane if you wanted to. Or, like, I guess you could duel in it. I, I don't know. There's a lot of options for secret. I, I imagine it'll probably be IO, Huskar, or something else in the top lane, and, like, Legion Jet lane, and then Magnus mid. That makes the most sense, I suppose, but... There's a lot of ways secret can play this. And Cloud9 are gonna have to figure that out pretty quickly. Prepare for battle. These uh effigies are in color for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it, but it's okay. Alright. Here we go. Secret versus Cloud9. Two game series, game number one getting underway. We got a Huskar pick, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I give a damn about in this game. I mean S4 Magnus is pretty great as well, but Cloud9 are gonna have to do some work here early on. And for Cloud9 on your rating team, it's gonna be Pilot Eye playing your Vengeful Spirit, Fata on your Puck. We are gonna see Eternal Envy with Attack Fire on your Weaver. And then it's gonna be AUI 2000 on your Zeus and the offlane Batrider played by Bone7 to round out the lineup of Cloud9. 30 seconds to battle.
you know, he'll just die. Um, and right now, they, they might know that there's an Iger tri lane coming up, but it's a bit late to switch lanes up, and Eternal Envy is just going to have one rough lane. And I feel like top lane is going to go really well for Simba. Like, he could just spam out his overwhelming odds. Bone 7 can harass a bit, but if, if Simba gets a stick, this could be good. They're going to catch out AUI, maybe. Oh, God, Crow gets double damage. Oh, my God, run away. Dear Lord. Do not fight this man. <laughs> it's a good way to die. It's just not going to be fun. S4 in the mid lane. Going to be going against the puck. Eternal Envy can't even come close to this at all. Like, look, look at Crookie. He's running at him, and I don't... He can just continue to run at him. And if it takes a bit of harass from the Zeus, that's fine. Again, if he gets one point into Berserker's Blood, he'll have, like... Mm, he won't be unkillable, but, uh... I mean, early on, it's still going to be pretty damn nice. I, I have a feeling that he could, and especially if Big Daddy gets to level 6. And Kuro will just stay alive. That's the thing about uh, Big Daddy's Wisp, is that he, he just doesn't let his carry die, ever. It just doesn't happen. So... I think the more important thing also is that how, how does Envy ever get farm in this lane? It just doesn't happen. Overcharge is going to go. It's like you have Berserker's Blood, so you have Magical Resistance, then he goes for the Double Ring of Prost uh, strategy, and, and he literally is unkillable. He has 7 armor. Right now he's sitting on how much Magical Resistance. It's 27%, but that goes up based on how much HP you're missing, so... Top lane, Simba's getting dove a bit. And Bone 7 just fire flying the creep wave, and he does have 6, so he's fine. He's good to go. Uh, bottom rune was picked up for Pilot Eye, I believe. Puck does get the bounty rune top spot. Pilot Eye getting right click down by Puppy, who has Chilling Touch on him for another... Actually, he let it go with that last attack, but... Uh, they actually are countering this ward. This is the good thing about having a Zeus in this game, is that they can counter this ward rel relatively easily, coming out from AUI 2000, so... Uh, no Tail taking some damage, gonna tether up to Puppy, and he's uh, taking right click. AUI has another lightning bolt, but he's not in range to use it, so they're just gonna counter this ward and go back to lane. And Eternal Envy is sitting on five last hits, Husker is sitting on uh, 11, so I guess EE e e is not doing awful. He's got something going his way. Better not! Not for you. <laughs> and he's good to go. Boom. And he has five sick charges. He's got a tango in itself as well. Plus the press the attack killed him quite a bit, so he's actually fine. Uh, not to mention your Q button actually just kills everything, so that's good. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Kuro is just running at AUI. AUI is like, I don't want to be here anymore. Please don't kill me. So. He'll die. That's uh, that's pretty much it. It's only going to 12 hours. Kuro is, uh, had a little bit certainly. Yeah. 
They could get back to this game or to be Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. That is well, yeah, I'm kind of having a decent amount of notes at the point of the stroking. This is why I was doing their dueling because I talked about the Aver Trial. Um, uh, he said, I mean, he didn't even level some of these heroes. Um, they have an eye. Kind of. That is not yours to offer. Oh, Puppy. Uh, Eternal Envy was going in. He was level 6, and he actually harassed Puppy down, and he time-lapsed away. So this is actually Envy playing this really well. Bone Seven is invised up, and he's looking for maybe a last. The spirits are going to come in, and there's the Firefly. No Tails trying to run away. There's going to be the last one to Kuroki. It's not going to do, do much, too much damage or any damage at all, really. Bone Seven is like, I need to leave now. Goodbye. Um, no Tail is in trouble, however. TP's coming in. It's going to be the Puck. They're going to Dream Call on Kuroki. He can't 1v5. They're going to keep him up with overcharge, but he's taking a lot of damage. He's man moding up on the Bone Civet. It's not going to be enough. They get a kill. That's a big one on to Kuroki. Three kills so far. They're going to get a fourth one. As No Tail is going to get Magic Missile and right click by Pilot Die. And Pilot Die actually gets the double kill. Oh, man. Wow, what a disaster. I thought Secret were going to be out and running here, but Cloud Dime with some really good rotations and a great play from Fatsa. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Well, that would be a tribute. I mean, he's not, he doesn't even really have uh, arcanes yet, so he actually went for the wand early, which is fine. But I mean, you need arcanes and blink on this hero, really. You can't. You you can go for straight blink, but it's not ideal at all. So. Mm. <laughs> you missed Kuro jamming out of the bottom lane. Eternal Envy just shikuchied away, and so Kuroki just slid across the map and did some damage. Double damage. No tell you are in trouble, my friend. Good time lapse out, though. Actually saves his life, though. That was sketchy at best. Oh, waiting rift dream cool is gonna go. S4 is here as well. He jots away. Fox is staying alive and he might be able to get out and looks like he will. S4 is gonna try to come off cut him off on the pass, but Fox just TP's away, so. It's a 12 second cooldown and Kuroki is just going to get healed back up essentially as soon as, uh, as soon as he uses the R button.
And they really need to get these levels up. Simba's going to get lassoed, and uh, they are going to chase him down. He's going to pick up the engine room while he actually might live from the lightning bolt, and they'll get some vision. They see him. They're going to right-click him once. Simba did juke while he was still visible, but Eternal Heavy gets a kill on No-Tail again as he was chasing him down towards the Roche Pit. It's five to nothing, and... Yeah, this is a problem because I, I, I would have said if No-Tail lived there and he was able to get some experience up in the jungle or up in the, the top lane, maybe he can get to six and they could turn things around with a relocate. But at this point, they're starting to get pretty far behind. I mean... You make a good point. You don't necessarily need Zeus Soul. I mean, Lightning Bolt does enough damage as it is. Batch Missile is good enough as it is. Yeah. He has armor. Yeah, this is a... This is a build that I've seen a lot. And uh, has been picked a lot for Vengeful Spirit. Specifically, Pilot Eye has done this a bit. And... Um, Team Seeker, I think, has done the same a lot with, I think, Bobo building this. And there's going to be a jam in, and Kuro's just going to take a lot of damage by doing so, and he also takes a bit of harass. And he's going to counter ward quickly as he sees this observer ward. And the supports are here. He's just dead. That was just like, he jumps in, he's like, I've made a huge mistake. And he just dies immediately right afterwards, like... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Look at Eternal Levy. Wow, Zeus Soul's gonna go in. Eternal Levy's gonna get cold feeded, and he doesn't have time lapse. He's in trouble. He can't Jakuchi. He might look, he's gonna go down. That's actually just a, their first kill goes on Eternal Envy, who dove a little bit too hard. The cold feet came out. Meanwhile, the top lane, they get a kill onto Simba using the lasso. So, a couple of kills across the map. They lose a turtle on the yes, but it's it's probably fine. Oh, AU, I was running the edge of it here. If he had walked into the trees or something, he would have gotten hit by it. Not that it would have mattered. It wouldn't have killed him, but... So, for now, you do almost have level 6 up on IO. You saw the level 6 come out from the Ancient Apparition, so that kill on Eternal Army did something. For Puppy, at least, but... All five heroes are mid for secret here. You have two or three heroes for Cloud9. And Fox is like, yeah, we want to go on this, by the way. I don't care if everyone's here. Let's just stream cool. Let's find some kills. Uh, EE -E is going to get this courier. Yeah. Goodbye. That's rather unfortunate. There was nothing on it, luckily, but... There's going to be the Zeus going in. Pilot out. The duel is up. The Ice Blast goes, and that's going to be a winner winner. Kuroki looking for a kill. Now the Dream Cole on to two. Bone Seven is going to jump in. He's looking for a lasso, but the Lightning Bolt immediately destroys poor No Tail. Lasso to Kuroki. He's getting right clicked down. Nice press the attack coming up from Simba. Here comes Eternal Envy. Armlet's still going. Bone Seven jumping in. RP, but only onto Bone Seven. Actually onto two. Fonts in trouble. He's dead as well. It's still a disaster right now for Secret. Eternal Envy's going to get a triple cure, it looks like. Simba's going to chase down. Press the attack, keeping him alive. There's the time lapse out, and actually, they won't get the team web coming out. Eternal Envy taking too much tower ass. And Simba is the only one to live because of Press the attack. Lightning Bolt goes in. No Tail is back in as well. Pilot Die coming in. Another Press the attack. Simba has no blink tower yet. Overwhelming odds is going to go, but the fight has been stifled. What a what an engagement. Yeah. 
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I mean, at, at this point, it, it feels like Kuro he doesn't have treads, let alone like any other set of boots. He's got armlet, and that's it. I mean, he really is just like, I want to survive as long as possible, but. You mentioned in the late game, he doesn't do much. I mean, maybe Simba if he gets a lot of dual wins, and then obviously S4 with some really, really good RPs. But at this point, Envy is sitting on a Lincoln Sphere, well, close to a Lincoln Sphere. He's got his perseverance, treads, a kilo, a bottle. So he, he has some luxury early game items. And then Bone 7 has bots and a Blink Dagger already. I mean, this is typical Bone 7 play. So it's just that good for Claw 9 right now, and we'll see if they can continue the aggression. Meanwhile, John gonna come in from Fata more than likely. He's gonna get jammed down by the phase shift and the John actually avoided. Ice Blast, they're gonna relocate on top of him. Fata, yeah, the, oh, the one right click from Kuroki gets the kill. Whew. He comes in and... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Zeus Soul coming in. They're going to TP mid, and S4 is like, I want to jump in, but I guess I'm not going to. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. They're going to fight. Uh, swap, magic missile, double damage on Eternal Envy. And they almost kill Pilot Eye. Now, No Tails alone, and he's dead as well. So that's just how it goes. I mean,. Maybe if they don't have the double damage, that fight goes a bit differently, but probably wasn't going to live regardless. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. And they're ready to go. We were just like one of those heroes that doesn't need a ton of farm to take this game. Um, if they have really good pressure from their team overall, like they could just take team fights and then in the process of doing so, they could take an Aegis and take the game at, at some point in time. But The life break is on a 12 second cooldown, but Lincoln Sphere is pretty short cooldown itself. Yeah. Yeah, they know the smoke's going on. Eternal Envy's like, I need to leave, but I'm going to get our peed coming in. The duel might go as well. The skewer as well. They need vision. The duel is going to come in. They get it off. Winner goes for Simba. All right. Smoke of the Sea Gank. Despite AUI giving them vision, it's not enough. And Simba really gets the kill and the duel damage, so. Not bad. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower well, plus the press the attack, attack, it's actually absurd. It's like you have a heal and you also have attack speed. So you're just going to do some work. Smoke from AY, Bone 7, and Pilot Eye, but there is every hero here. As far as, like, there's something fishy going on. Meanwhile, Blink Lasso, Simba is in some trouble. Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile, they will grab this kill. Nicely done. Swap in, Pilot Eye. There's the skewer down to the low ground. They jump in, Girl wants to man up. He's going to find it one. Puppy's not dead yet. They dust it up eternally. He's going to Shikuchi away. AUI going to work, getting a killing spree here. Jump in from Fata, the Dream Cole going as well. Jaunts away, but look at Kuro running up evil. Double kill coming out from the Huskar. It's going to be a triple kill as well. And Secret are starting to now run over Cloud9 in this team fight. Fata is running away. They TP up top with Bone7. He's going to start farming. He's like, this fight is over. And Secret actually take a victory in that engagement. This is 20 minutes now. He, I mean, he has a lot of kills, but he does not have a lot of last hits. He's just been roaming around the map. He's facing constant pressure from the Hotscar, so he's not really able to farm in this bottom lane. 
So That's the I, thing. I mean, Envy, is, Envy has made an okay job out of this game, but I mean, just given how much pressure he's under, he can't really farm that much. So. We'll find out if that if that's enough for Secret to break this game open. I, I think it potentially could be. I mean, you saw in that last fight, Kuro went crazy. He had three of his nine, uh, his team's nine deaths, and I think that's something that Envy needs to work on. You talked about his last hits, and yeah, that's true as well. So it's not like he's getting a ton of farm. They're staying in this game by just sheer brute force at this point. Yeah, Bone instead of having a good time. So I mean, they know that Kuro becomes unkillable soon if they can keep Envy from getting any damage items. So I think that's their goal, and. I mean, it's working thus far with Envy having to stop for this Lincolns. It's going to be a while for him to actually have a damage item. I mean, he probably can go something straight like Chrysalis right away, which gives you some decent damage. But still, that's, I mean, that's a while off. He still has another, what, 1,100 gold to get his mm -hmm. uh, his ultimate orb and then 21 for Chrysalis. So, it's going to be a little bit. I think Bonesev might be getting Lincolns through as well as he has the Perseverance. We've talked about, like, Refresh in the past, but I don't see that being the case. Lincolns, um, yeah, Lincolns seems good on Bone 7. That is the last one on O-Tail. That range looks like it was maxed. The Lightning Bolt and O-Tail is going to die. There's a Dream Cold going in as well into Kuroki. He's not going to really mind. He's just going to sit here and run last hit as well. But O-Tail does go down. So, And Kuro is the only one of the top five of the net worth here for... Uh, or top four of the net worth for Secret. So that's just something to keep in mind. And that's how this game has gone. Yeah. Uh, those supports are still, still struggling. But now that they have the level six... And Ancient Apparition actually almost has level 11. They're, they're recovering nicely here. Well, probably taking agents, and now Secret are going for Roshan. They've, they've tried doing this a couple of times now. Kuro is kind of low. He's going to arm with Toggle, and Zeusel's going to go, and Kuro takes, like, no damage from that, but... Don't get bashed, Kuro. Oh, God, the Swarm. The Swarm! Look out! All right, he kills it immediately. And they're going to... Can't see not actually go in on this. I, I think they could. They can't clump the up, though. Is if they do anything wrong, they just get RP'd, yeah. dueled. yeah. Uh, there's no Zeus ultimate to stop him from engaging. Right, Kuro is running at Pilot Eye. I think Pilot Eye is actually just dead. Magic Mills is going to go, but he dies to the Burning Spears. Kuro takes the Lightning Bolt, and AY is caught out as well, and he's going to fall, it looks like. And there's the duel going in from Sibba. They're going to get another duel win, and... Yeah, I don't know, man. This too. looks this looks pretty good for Secret, all things considered. Secret are playing valiantly, getting back into this one, and this is... Obviously, when you have these... Even just the threat of these big teamfight ultimates, it... It makes Cloud9 play very, very carefully in these situations, especially around the Roche bit. So, their dire side, they know that Roche is going to give them a huge advantage in the next fight. So, they're doing everything they can to get this, and they are going to get it now, even though they're committing a huge amount to this. And Envy is farming while this is happening. It could give them a huge victory in the next fight. You could see that Cloud9 are tiptoeing around the Roche pit, and the RP is going to oh, go in the skewer boy. for Envy now, and he is in some trouble. He does Shikuchi, and the last, so he stays alive. The Shikuchi got off before the RP came. The waning up going as well. Simba and Kuro are both low wave of terror. They're getting chased down. Pilot Eye looking for the kill. A jam in from Kuroki. Swap out. Right click. Pilot Eye is going to fall again. Kuro wants to keep going. They're going to chase Simba back up to the high ground to make sure he stays alive. They're going to help his teammate out. And Fatsa couldn't get a kill there. He was out of mana after that Dream Coil. Oh, the Zeus Soul does get Simba, though. And it will be a two-for-one exchange. And they might get Roshan on the oh, back end boy. of this. It's going to be close if Envy wants to go in. Yeah, I mean, even not getting the Rosh there is a big issue because they spent all that time they normally would have been pressuring Envy, keeping him from farming, taking, and they were taking Roshan instead. So now his Lincoln's just done. And we're moving towards that damage item much more quickly than Secret would prefer. So... They do need to be, uh, I mean, but look, I mean, Kuroki has a Reaver now, so that coupled with the amount of healing they have, the physical damage is still going to have to be pretty, pretty large to actually kill him, so. I still, I mean, Secret are definitely playing at a disadvantage here, but, I mean, you can't really root against them when, when they're winning fights like this. I think right now for Secret, they need to get dust, actually, on this Magnus. He's rp twice. And Envy is like Shikuchi right beforehand every time, and he skewered him back down, and they're like, oh, we can't do him because we don't have vision. So that's yeah. been kind of an issue. And now Absolutely. that he is like a sphere, it's going to be even more of an issue. They have to break that, that like it's off before they can duel him. So it exactly. looks like Secret will get the kill on to Roshan here, and the Aegis will go, but this is a big pickup. That's the big issue is they can't chain the RP into duel as easily, and with limited ways to actually turn off that Lincolns, they're going to have to be careful here. I mean, Cult Feet's really all, all they have, so. I guess, you know, maybe they'll and get some four staffs to help get help with it. They have two Lincolns now, so if they can chain those Lincolns first together, all of a sudden yeah. Eternal Envy becomes unkillable. Yeah. That's actually uh that's a really good that's a really good tool for them to be able to do. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> oh god. I think these teams have all been in Sweden together for too long. Oh, I guess no, Secret's not in Sweden. Secret's not. Actually. Yeah, That's they're true. not there. Yeah. Secret's, who knows what they're doing. Boot camping, not boot camping, getting ready for the summit. That's, Magnus uh, not had the impact that we normally like to see at a Spore Magnus. 0 2 and 5. Has had some success this game, but not nearly what we're used to seeing. I mean, he's still capable of making some huge plays, though. And that's the beauty of the Magnus, especially if he's able to get something like a refresher, then it gets really scary. I think it looks like he's going for four step. Yeah, four step is pretty common on this hero at this point. Yeah, I mean, positioning is just so important with him, and being able to push Kuroki towards someone could be nice as well. Speaking of Kuroki, they actually have vision of him. They just put this war down, so he was running at the top lane, and they're like, ah, he, yeah, he's, he's just not going to be able to get a kill here, so. By the way. Satanic, baby? He has a Reaver. He's gonna have it pretty soon if he wants it. Yeah, it's a great item on on uh, Huskar. Another way for him to heal when he gets close to death. I mean, there's so many ways for him to do this. Uh, go good by Fata. Oh good duel God. from Simba. Really well played. They just blow heroes up. Now it's time to take the mid tier one. I like the way the Secret are playing this. They're getting going really aggressive on pickoffs, and obviously their team's built for that with all the blink daggers and that we locate as well. And Looks like Simba now is probably going to be going for a BKB, so they're going to have a bit better game in big fights. I still I need a way to deal point, with this double Lincolns on Envy, though. That is going to be a problem. I don't know how they... Uh, you have to find some way to break that. They have four staffs coming out. You talked about the S4 four staff. That's going to be huge to break it. Um, RP. Wow, that was a big RP. I thought Bones had almost got out of that. Shockwave, they're trying to duel him up, it looks like, but they can't get the kill. Yeah. And he just runs away. Yeah. It's just that easy. Able to use cold feet to turn off the Lincolns, but that minuscule amount of time it takes could cost you the duel. So, working out so far on that, with that Lincolns. I mean, there is an attack animation coming out from the cold feet. You'd be better to have a force staff, but they don't have that yet, so they can't cancel it. You'd like to RP and then cancel the Lincolns immediately with Lincolns or with a force staff, but that's just not the case. While that all happens, they do take the tier one tower. No, it's actually they deny mid, so. It's just something to keep in mind and back and I wonder forth if we go. For a go, like an Agonim's in favor of like an Atos or another four staff to help them turn off these Lincoln spheres. I mean it's really hard it's really hard to not get the Agonims, just such an amazing item on AA, but I mean he already has an urn now and it's twenty seven minutes in. Generally if you're going for an eggs, you'd like to see it early. Yeah, it's not that's the worst thing to get late. Oh get rid of the Lincoln's I guess. You'll step around a Kuroki, Ice Blast is gonna go as well and Kuroki's trying to chase down Fox, but he's too quick and the spirits catching on bone 70 forces and TP's away, he'll make it out. So he's fine. The bottom lane is getting pressured by Envy, yeah, so... Lincoln for bone 7 obviously is going to let him engage a little bit easier as well, so... I, I, the thing is, is that Lasso is only going to be so good just because of uh, a Fly having the, the duel, or the uh, press the attack, rather. So, you can always purge off that Lasso. 66 bonus damage for Sigma now. Yeah, he's, he's racking in the dual wins. He's level 16 now, so now this is when the damage really starts flowing. You win a couple duels and you are swinging quite heavily. Hey, you get empowered too, and all of a sudden you have some extra damage. Not only going for your... Oh, they're going to relocate in. It's going to be up onto... Nobody. Uh, it was not thought the to. Was there, yeah. he, he blinked away. It's like, that's Simba. Under attack. Very, very hmm. sneaky. Puck just... So annoying to deal with. And he actually has a ton of CS. 154. I thought just having a good game. Although, all of a sudden, there's the same amount of towers for both teams. They're both sitting at tier twos at this point. BKB for Simba, and still not a huge amount of physical damage here from C9. And Envy, what is his next item going to be? I mean, he could go for another farming item since they are now actually now doing okay. You know, they're not being pressured very heavily. They still have all their tier twos. So Mjolnir is now pretty insane on Weaver, so that's an option, or he could just go straight for like a traditional damage item or, you know, something like a heart. So he's got some options here. Going for another farming item doesn't seem ridiculous just because, I mean, something like a Maelstrom and a Mjolnir gives you good damage as well, so. He's going Radiance Kappa. You know. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta pick up that Sacred Relic at 30 gold. I mean, gold. You gotta, sometimes you gotta kill supports. <laughs> sometimes you just need to run over people. Um, no, he's he's probably gonna pick up a desolator, I imagine. Armor reduction is gonna be huge. Uh, not that they don't have that already. The satanic is done. 
And he has, he has an extra reaver as well. So he gets a full satanic and an extra reaver. This man is unkillable. That's wow. the goal anyway. Gonna go heart next probably and... I mean, he's just you, gonna be... You just don't die he's ever. He's gonna be hard to kill, yeah. That's, that, that is an issue. Okay, let's talk about HP. Armata gold plus satanic plus heart of frask. What are you at? 4k HP maybe? Yeah, something like that. It's a lot. And you're... The only problem is you don't have much physical damage resistance, although 50% is not bad. I mean, with, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's not like Envy's gonna be doing through a 4k hero right now. Well, they're gonna get a kill top and probably gets caught out of position. He actually has 17 they armor. They have dual here. Uh, Relocate him. Might be dead. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, the spirits, wow, they relocate on top of him, the spirits into the duel, just kill him immediately. No Tail is so on point with this hero. I just, I don't know, like, paired with the Huskar even, they're owning. I don't know if you can let No Tail play this hero. That's been the the case for most of the tournament. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Clyde and I are like, alright, we're gonna test our luck against No Tail and see what happens, and it's just like, I don't know if that was the best idea. Uh, S4 is gonna skew away, right click, not enough to get the kill. Top lane, two, two tires to be taken. There's gonna be the glyph, they have to blink away. Deny's gonna go for Crow. So, good job there. He's zoning up the heroes. Wada looks like he's gonna be going for Hex next, and I like that quite a bit. For obvious reasons, against the Huskar. And, uh, Deso, the choice for Envy, and I think this is good. Now, the armor reduction, and this is one way to burn through Kuro's life pool. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Desolating him. Being able to take down Kuro is an issue. And obviously, I mean, he is going to do a lot of damage to himself, so... Yeah, that's, that's true. It's a bit of effective HP. Let's just say he's not necessarily unkillable, but he's about as he's close to that tanky, as he can get. Yeah. I mean, he gets mm -hmm. a BKB and... I mean, the one thing is that being unkillable is great, but... He is, you know, really, really late in the game. He's not gonna have as much damage, so... I think there is probably a window oh. here. Oh boy, S4. Whoa. Oh my god, what a press the attack. S4 still is probably dead, I think. Yeah, he's yeah. dead. He is going in the jump in. There's the time ups going in as well. The dust is gonna fly, and they can't chase him down. If only just gets two snipes real quick, then backs away. The rest of them leave as well. I mean, they lose nothing out of it. The relocate goes back up to the top lane. Assuming you're alone, dead. buddy. Goodbye, Fly. You you are you you had a good life, my friend. Oh. Well, trying to get aggressive there and take down Envy, but that backfires. I mean, he's like, "Where's my team?" Oh, they relocated back top, huh? So now it's time to take some towers. Envy, Cloud Nine, they're starting to dominate. They've really, really found a way to play up against this Huskar. They've killed S4 numerous times yeah, with his dealt RPs. With the mag extremely well. And yeah. then, I mean, he's really not done much at all, and Fada has been able to silence him pretty effectively. They have a lot of good tools to just take the fight as they want with the duels and things like that. This could be bad for Fada. He looks dead. Oh, he's dead as hell. That's okay. But that's alright. They put some pressure on the tier 3 tower, they get a good fight, they get the tier 2 tower bottom lane as well, and Envy is up to 2,000 gold already. I mean, that's it. They could uh, maybe just Keep finding farm and keep taking engagements and maybe even Roshan and and now Boats of it is going refresher. There's no reason to pick up this perseverance for any reason other than the refresher. Refresher's actually pretty good here, I think. And you can pull you can pull if you can pull the Huskar and the Legion, then you're doing well in that fight. I mean any two heroes are gonna be really great for I mean, I mean, in this situation. Obviously the the draw there is then at that point if you lasso Simba and and no tail's not around, then how are they gonna break the lasso? So you get a free second one as well. It's gonna be really good. This is a, a tough game to be in if you're secret. This is yeah, certainly not I easy. I mean, it's still winnable just because they have huge ultimates and they have Wisp. I mean, I'll never bet against Wisp in any sort of scenario. And Kuro is ultra farmed, but is it gonna be held back by the hero? Potentially. He has like no attack speed when he has full health. Even with Armlet, he is so slow. He doesn't do that much They're damage. They're gonna try to go on. This is a big test right here. Oh, he's gonna go on Fox regardless. No Tail's like, I need to relocate away. He actually has to, and he leaves Kuro to die. They're gonna use him twice. No Tail is actually his relocate was oh, stopped. Boy. And now Kuroki is just getting blown up. There's the Dream Quote coming. The last one as well. It's press the attack. RP on the pilot eye. E, e avoids it beautifully with his Shikuchi, but they've still lost two already. And they're not done yet. They're looking to find more. Simba trying to get into a good waiting room from Fox to stay alive. They're gonna back away, jump out from Fox, and. That could have been and should have been a lot worse for Secret. Yeah, I mean, the RP only catching one, not able to get the duel off, a lot of things went really well in that fight for a C9, and 
they get away from that one with very limited losses. And again, Secret are going to try to go for this Roshan. I think this is a good move. It's a big objective for them. No, there's no way they can fight this, I don't think, now that Dream Quill is down. Yeah, they don't I don't think so. <laughs> this is uh, going to be Kuroki's Aegis. And I don't know what you do at this point. But I think you just gotta I think you just jam it down a lane. Kuroki has heart, he has satanic, he has armlet. Slap Manegas on him and look at him go. Hope for the best. You're on your own, Kuro. Not really, yeah, you mean, have Io to help got out. There's a ton but... of ways to buff him, but you know, C9 have been taking these fights and like they've been so spread out, so fragmented that to be honest, uh Kuro just hasn't been able to connect on a lot of heroes. He's not able to just sit in the middle of the fight and slap him, you know? So they're they're very very mobile between yeah. a troll and and puck and and even I mean, yeah, exactly. as well. They have a Shikuchi Weaver, which is super quick. Bot obviously, uh, Bat Rider is now super mobile. That he has the four staff as well. AUI is really the only one who's not super mobile, but he's actually been doing a good job of just not really dying that much. Only three deaths for him. So that's pretty good. He's got a four staff and eagle scepter, so he's a little bit more mobile than you'd expect out of a, a Zeus. He's a lot more yeah, speedy. He's a, he can at least move a little bit in four staff if he gets really close to someone who doesn't want to be near. So. I mean, this guy's geriatric generally when he doesn't have these <laughs> items. Like he, he, it looks like he's got a broken hip or something. He's like, I can't goddamn move. My move speed is like below 300 at with boots. So and that's not the and case the, this the game Zeus though. This is actually a really, really good initiation tool for them, and a really good way to control the fight since it turns off all the blink daggers. I, I really like this. Sport Zeus. This isn't the first time I've seen it, but it's certainly been one of the most effective times I've seen it. And it's not surprising that AUI is the one that is able to make it work the best, at least I mean, from on what top I've seen. Of it, it also drops No Tail down like a ton of HP, and now we're finally seeing the Ghost Scepters coming up, and that's potentially an issue for C9 that they have to deal with just on the supports right now, but still, I mean, you can't get it anymore in Huskar, thank God, but. That was, well, that was that was a rough time. <laughs> Kroki is sitting on. He he just actually has max regen with a heart of Trask. Yeah, I mean, where does he go from here? Curtis using a scouting thunder god's wrath there, and now they know what's up. They can just push out lanes. Bata, yeah, they're gonna go top. Bata's really good at this. This like really like ratty puck. He gets a ton of farm from it. He's really, really good at uh, using all of the Puck's abilities to just stay away from getting killed. And with that, he's able to put a lot of pressure on with this Puck. And we've seen this time and time again. Secret's just going to jam it down bottom, though. Radiance they need to get a Tier 2. They have no Tier 2s down. I mean, Tier 3 is going to get pressured. If they don't get this Tier 2 in, uh, now, oh, Tier 3 is going to die. Hey, Ultimate's going to come up. That's going to land on just one. I mean, eternally, we could just time-lapse that. But he backs away. They're waiting for the creep wave that actually stops the push. And this is going to give the tower down bottom to Kuroki, but I think they can TP back and try to defend this if they stay up top. Which actually, Cloud9 are already backing up, but I feel like they should force the TP rotations. They do force one. Bone7's still sitting here on the low ground. and The rest of them are going to keep going. In fact, the only one not there is going to be the S4 Magnus. They kind of need him if they're going to fight. I'm a little surprised that MD left. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I thought he was just going to pressure. He does have a double damage rune, though. Jeez, that's scary. Now Secret back up. They look really afraid. Uh, you don't want to get lasted from the low ground. I, don't I mean, think. the other thing is that I'm not sure they can actually win a fight without the Magnus. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's absolutely true. S4 uh, is nowhere near geez, the engagement. Envy has a Daedalus now, though. This game, I think it's, it's going to go too long, and Envy is just going to... I mean, look, Envy's now critting for almost 600. Uh, Franker Z, my dog's going insane. Yeah, I can, we can hear in the background, it's beautiful. <laughs> the sounds of Thanksgiving in the background. Uh, that's it, that's it, man, the sounds of Thanksgiving. But now Secret gonna pressure bottom lane, and now Magnus is with them, we'll see if they can take Radiance a fight. Kirk is, yeah, gonna, he's gonna go oh, up to the high ground. Up. C9 are gonna, are gonna take this engagement in their turns. It's gonna Plus be bad. might get a huge lasso here. Rookie again, he has the Aegis, he's got a heart. They're gonna lasso a puppy. Maybe not the best target, but it's gonna be a hero oh. dead regardless. Dreamcore on the backside of this, and they can't engage. RP, no, S4, come on, no, he's gonna fall as well. Devil kill for Eternal Envy. Kuroki is going into the well. He's gonna try to man up and do as best as possible. Eternal Envy has the time ups. It is Kuroki against the world now. What can he get done with an Aegis? What can he get done with an art? And obviously, they're on that as well. He gets one, he's got a double kill. Eternal Envy, is he gonna get three? There's the heart going in, and obviously the age is going to be wasted, so... 
Enemies with a little bit too low HP here, I think, to play this game. Yeah, they, they they don't... I think Kuroki, actually, if he runs at them, he could kill all of them. They're gonna go for they're it. They're gonna they try to fight him. Here. This, oh, he oh, missed it! He missed the oh, silence! This isn't good! And they're gonna jaunt to... Yeah, okay. That was like a dangerous game to be playing. He's like, ah, uh, Mr. Silence gonna have to jaunt away goodbye. So he'll make his way out of there. Kuroki is just gonna say, okay, that's fine. You've killed my entire team. Not a big deal. Goodbye. Well, there's a haste rune waiting for him. So he's gonna be just fine here. Uh, that was, I mean, that was not good. That's the issue. Is like, Huskar might be unkillable, but the rest of your team certainly is not. And they all die. Kuro can only do so much if it's completely by himself, so... Uh, that, I mean, them losing that push is not the end of the game, but it's certainly, certainly not good. And now it's 10k net worth up for C9, and it's a lot. I really feel like uh, S4 and that that RP had to hit there, and it just didn't. It oh, just didn't. Okay. Wow. All right, maybe the game's not over. Uh, last up on S4, the Magnus is gonna get caught out. And they're gonna relocate on him. They're gonna try to fight this puppy here as well. They're gonna try to fight Bone Seven. He's gonna get jammed up. There's the Lincoln Sphere going to protect him, but they still kill him regardless. Now Fata trying to get out of there, and he might make it to all oh, Simba. He's so close. The range, phase shift, and he has the Lincoln Sphere. That's the problem. That's true. Uh, there's potentially a lot of issues here for Secret, even though they're Skewer, doing a good job. Skewer, Lincoln Sphere is broken. Shockwave. And they get one kill, I guess. That's better than losing the Magnus, I suppose, so... Yeah, it's Jeez. better than not getting anything, but Secret are certainly struggling here. And with 45 seconds until that Batrider is up, they're not going to be able to do anything bottom. Secret, they just need to, I think, smoke and try to get a couple aggressive pickoffs, and then hope for the best when they push in afterwards. I mean, Kuro is... I was talking about his, his damage with his attack speed and how it wasn't that great. He's got a butterfly now, and... Regardless of the fact that this is an agility item for an agility hero, I mean, that evasion, you're getting that armor, speed, you're getting evasion, you're getting attack this is speed. Good stuff. You're getting the active as well, by the way. The move speed bonus Flutter. for 20, uh, 20%. Flutter is actually just such a dumb name, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That just seems super, <laughs> super stupid. Not a fan. Well, no, Weaver, I'm really I not. Mean, Weaver can still, I mean, Weaver's still got item slots here, so MKB. I think the two items he's probably looking for now are MKB and Heart. He could get a butterfly of his own, but. I'm not sure that's great against life break. Yeah, this is MKB gonna hmm. I mean he's gonna have to buy that now though. He will, otherwise his damage is gonna fall yeah, off against Kuro. Kuro's just gonna stand there in these fights. God that's the problem like Kuro's dangerous man. It's he really he's a dangerous is. man. I mean Huskar might fall off a little bit, but he's still doing tons of damage. Well, like, still it, leading the net worth. Now has the butterfly as well to just stand in the fights. If any like just you know, stands next to, or rather, if, if I mean, Kuro stands next to Envy. Envy cannot fight Kuro straight up. No, it's point. definitely not possible. Not even with time lapse, even with Shikuchi. Yeah, no not way. so much that they don't have a gem. If they had gotten a gem this game and put it on Kuro, that's frightening. And not that he's way to lock anybody down, but. but yeah, uh, he is, in fact, raid boss level at this point. There is nothing else to say about that. BKB for <laughs> Magnus. I think that's a really good choice given. How he's just not been able to do anything in these fights, and unfortunately, Puppy just not really had an opportunity here to actually farm at all. So, not like we have the Aghanims even close on the Ancient Apparitions. So that's unfortunate, but that's just sort of how it is. No Tail has died quite a bit, three and ten, but now with the Ghost Scepter, that should go down at least a little bit. But when you're the Wisp Weaver, is brutal to play against because he can just run at you and kill you, and there's not anything you can do about it unless you have someone to tether to. So I really like the I really like how they've played up against uh, I I O this game. They know that No Tail is fantastic on this hero, and he's done some really well for himself. But they've Still made him not a non-factor, but he. Weaver. Yeah, I agree. And it's not even just the Weaver, it's they have the, love the lasso, they have obviously a swap, they have Zeusol. There's yeah, multiple ways to kill Zero. At early levels, take like half a JP, so. Relocate Skewer, do they have vision onto Eternal V again? They put the sentry down a bit too late, and he's gonna get away. The Lincoln Sphere has been broken. They need a duel, Simba can't get there, and. He's still Dust! Die. He can still uh, maybe he is gonna go down. Wow, the Shockwave, I thought it was gonna actually live through there, but. They finally realized they need a gem of true sight. They, they, no more playing around. They are going to maybe go on bottom. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe Kuro is going to go into AUI, actually. Yule Scepter is going to keep him alive. The Spirits uh. are going to get the kill. Godlike coming out from Kuro. And they did not have the tower. 
I mean... The power of Huskar, boys. He's... Maybe he is the best late game I don't here. Know. Secrets is... just don't lose in the late game, man. How many times have we said that? How many times have has that been brought up? They just don't yeah, lose in the late game. Wrong. I mean, I guess when you're this farmed on a Huskar, he is 12 and 4, level 23. He's getting a Salt Tross next. I mean, it comes down to the engagements. If, if C9 get the engagement they want, there's no way that Kuro can really win. But when they're able to just pick people off like this, Kuro has ridiculous single target single target damage. He has no buybacks, by the way. He is dead. Well, actually, no, just kidding. He just got it, I think. But yeah, he just got that buyback. Okay. He's good to go. Never mind. And they need to buy back here, I think. Otherwise, it's tier three, uh, and this Rax is gone. I mean, you can see that Fata's pushing in bottom lane, and that's great and everything, but yeah, they've got to fight. Fata's doing the Fata, Fata puck thing. This is just what he does. You, and if you've got to be kidding me. I mean, if his teammates aren't buying back, he can't do anything. I mean, they're going to trade Raxes, maybe? Fata can't get this Rax. He has to TP home. The Raxes are gone mid. It's secret. They just don't lose in the late game. There is going to be the last one going out to Crow. Relocate's going to go, and they're going to get him out. They're going to get him out in time. No tail might martyr for this, but it's more than okay, I think. That is just I a mean, beautiful play. Really, Jules really about to go. Envy is top lane, use. by the way. Zeus ult's going to fly. Kuro wants to fight this. Dream Cool is going to go on the backside. They want to TP away. They're going to get one out. The rest of them are still looking to just make their escape. Puppy does get away. Now Fata. Yule Scepter. Last one's going to go again. That's going to be a Crow. They're going to try to bring him in the damn well if they can. They're not going to get there in time, though. He has the Aegis. Match Look Missile's going to go. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. A great Presti attack. He's zoning them into the wall. Fata's is jumping out now. BKB going in. Puppy is dealing. RP is canceled. They've got to back away. The tier three now gone. Kuro going to work on the range racks. They're crumbling. Kuro is trying to go on to the puck here. Fats is able to phase shift the jump in, and now the Malorax is the target here. Kuro is a man. This guy is 40. There's the duel, but EE is going to be the victor there. They're zoning out S4, and Kuro is going to have to do all of this work on his own. He's going to jump in. Another great Yule Scepter. EE is getting man to find. He's going to time lapse away. Kuro back up to full health with his Satanic. Going to work. Boats of getting right click down. Kuro is a god. He is a god amongst men, amongst He's mere mortals. Bone 7. This Rax is in some trouble. They're going to get the kill. The ultra kill from Envy is it enough. Magic Missile. They are throwing everything at Kuro, and they might finally get the kill. He is Aegis is now gone. Jumps in. Puppy gets a double kill, and Kuro is still manning up. He is Satanic in eight seconds. Are you fucking kidding me? Kuro is still alive. The armlet toggles, but the rampage comes out for Envy. Somehow, they are able to kill the man, and that is a lot of gold that Envy just gets for that kill alone. They successfully defend their base, sort of. I mean, they lose three buildings for <laughs> it, but what? I mean, Envy gets a uh, rampage, which is great, but now their base is going to be pressured continuously. But, I mean, if there is any team that I would want to, to be in this position, I think it would be C9. And well, look the at the bottom racks, though, for... Racks, yeah. yeah, Secret Secret gets the bottom set of racks. So it's it's a racks versus a racks and a half. Uh, and Oscar has bought I mean, back... The issue here, right, is that Huskar now is at the point where it takes so much to kill him that the supports are able to just do a lot to buy him time. And when he's able to get time, he just attacks so fast that he can kill these barracks. Oh, uh, my lord. Oh, Huskar, oh, no. Oh, oh. This is not the fight you want to be in. They're going to hex him as well. Kuro is in some trouble. RP might be there. S4 is looking to fight. Yule Scepter is going to go. Fats is stuck into the trees. And they're going to kill these little worms quickly, but that could have been a lot worse. Fox is still here. He actually could just blink out now, and it looks like he will do so. They're going to head into Roshan. Kuro is now 6 slotted. They're going to work on top, though. Here's Envy going to the tier 3 tower, and he's going to take it. And he might be able to take the Rax as well. They've got a, they're going to trade Roche for a Rax. And, yeah, I mean, this Melee Rax top is dead. Yeah, it's just dead. gone. Meanwhile, they're fighting at the... Uh, yeah, they're going to get two Raxes here. And, well, there's going to be the duel on the Pile I Die. And he goes Scepter's immediately. They're going to look for Fata here. Pile I Die. There is the winner coming in for Pile I Die. Zeus ult goes. Top Rax is going down. But meanwhile, mid lane. Kuroke is an MTP scroll. He can't get back home even if he wanted to. And if he dies, he has no buyback. Again, the face shift from Fata. Kuroki now. This game is devolved. They're chasing after Envy here. They're relocated. And they're going to relocate and make sure they get this kill into Envy. He won't have buyback. He's dead for 123 seconds. Uh -oh. Yes, there are two sets of racks is gone, but that's a huge kill now coming out from secret bone seven might get jumped on Oh the blink away. He's gonna try to get out. and He looks like he will make it out in time bone seven stays alive oh. <laughs> I can't even follow what's happening. Yeah, this game is getting out of hand here Puppy is just pushing back creep waves using his ultimate. This is really smart 
And Secret, maybe have a window of opportunity with Envy dead for a hundred seconds. If they notice that he purchased that MKB, they'll know that he does not have buyback. Well, he bought back in the last fight anyways, didn't he? No, he didn't. He didn't no, he buy did back. Not. He bought it right at the end of the last fight. They should push down, at least, and try to force out the buyback if they can. They have to buyback do a top on, lane and bottom lane, though. Buyback is actually on CD for Envy as well, so it's a good opportunity for Secret. I, see, I, I figured he bought back. He must have bought back when he got... Yeah, he he did, might have he gotten did. killed in that bottom fight or something. I don't know. Yeah, he bought back. You're right. And now they're just going to pressure middle and... Are they're they, going to go for two fours are, is here, this I think. real life? Are they just gonna is go this going to happen? I mean, Fox is going to come in and... They can also just push through middle and take the bottom Oh, rest. Fox is going to go both of these, maybe. No Tail and Puppy are in some trouble. Ice Blast is going to fly in and... There's no creeps Kuroki's. in the base yet. Who has the Aegis? Did they pick it up? The Roche is still there. Krog is gonna get lasted up. He is in some trouble here. RP's gonna go from S4 onto two. They do hex up Simba. The skewer back out. They kill one. Boat 7 is gonna get focused out. AUI, he's buying back. So is Boat 7. The swap. Krog is in the base. But he is taking so much damage. And then Satana comes in. He is unkillable. He's gonna walk right back out. And then he gets relocated away. The tier 4s now are getting blown away by Krogi. EE is still dead for 20 seconds. The Ancient is going to be exposed in mere moments, and now they're going to go to work on the Ancient. Fat is trying to do his best. He's getting right click down. Big Daddy is low. Simba working on the Ancient as well. What a game this has turned out to be. It's almost over. Kroki needs a bit more right click, and they will take it. Game number one goes to Secret in an unbelievable, improbable fashion. There is absolutely no way they should have won that game, but they did. Oh they just don't God. lose in the late game. Wow. Secret don't lose in the late game. What a game. Impossible. What a game. Kuroki... I mean, Kuroki was amazing that game, but... No-Tail did amazing.